What's up, tech junkies? Today, we've got an epic camera showdown that'll blow your mind. We're pitting the revolutionary Samsung S23 with its mind-boggling 200MP camera against four new contenders that are here to shake up the industry. Now, let's take a closer look at the competition. The Motorola Edge 30 Ultra, the Infinix Zero Ultra, and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus, all armed with impressive camera setups. But can they hold a candle to Samsung's 200MP behemoth? First up, let's talk about the design powerhouse, the Samsung S23. With its premium build, gorgeous curves, and cutting-edge aesthetics, this phone is a stunner. But we're here for that groundbreaking 200MP camera. Is it truly as mind-blowing as it sounds? All right, folks, it's time for the moment of truth camera samples and real-life photography. We'll be putting these phones through their paces in various lighting conditions and scenarios. Will the 200MP camera on the Samsung S23 live up to its massive hype? Can the other contenders steal the show with their unique camera features? The smartphone landscape is constantly evolving, and Lenovo-owned Motorola has thrown down the gauntlet with their latest flagship contender, the Motorola Edge 30 Ultra. First things first, let's talk about the design. The Motorola Edge 30 Ultra is a true head-turner. Its sleek and stylish exteriors make it one of the most elegant phones on the market right now. The Corning Gorilla Glass 5 finish, the matte back panel, and the interstellar black color scheme all add to its opulence. And, hey, they even threw in an IP52 rating for water resistance? Bonus points! Now, what sets this device apart from the crowd is its incredible camera setup. Brace yourselves, folks, because we're talking about a whopping 200MP primary camera. Yes, you heard that right, 200 megapixels. Motorola is breaking records with this one. And while you might think it's just a numbers game, we'll find out if this upgrade is truly worth it. But that's not all. Feast your eyes on this gorgeous 6.67-inch Endless Edge display. With a refresh rate of 144 HDR10 capability, it's a visual treat. Sure, it's not LTPO 2.0, but trust me, once you lay your eyes on this display, you won't be disappointed. All right, let's talk about photography, the highlight of the Motorola Edge 30 Ultra. With the 200MP primary sensor, you can capture astounding levels of detail. But here's the kicker. Is it really necessary or just overkill? The Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 SOC ensures this phone blazes through every task with ease. The performance is top-notch, but there are some concerns with sustained loads. We'll dive deeper into the pros and cons of the software and hardware to see if it lives up to the expectations. With a 4,600 mAh battery and a super-fast 120-watt charger in the box, you won't be left hunting for power outlets. The Motorola Edge 30 Ultra offers excellent battery life, and the 120-watt charging can juice it up in just 26 minutes. That's insanely fast, folks. So, is the Motorola Edge 30 Ultra worth your hard-earned money? It's a compelling flagship phone with an extraordinary camera, a stunning display, and top-notch performance. However, there are some areas that could use improvement, like low-light photography and occasional throttling. Is the Motorola Edge 30 Ultra a flagship contender that makes its mark in the smartphone arena? What are your thoughts on this device? Let us know in the comments below. Hey there, awesome viewers. We couldn't be more thrilled to create incredible content for all of you. But hey, we need your support to keep this show going strong. So, if you enjoy what you see here, be sure to hit that like button and hit that magical subscribe button right now. Oh, and here's the best part. Leave us a little comment down below with the magic words I have subscribed, and we'll know that you've joined our fantastic community. It's been eight years since Xiaomi introduced the Redmi Note lineup in India, and boy, has it left a mark. Today, we've got the top-tier Redmi Note 12 Pro in our hands, armed with the groundbreaking 200MP Samsung ISO CELHP-X sensor. Can this mid-range smartphone truly shatter the boundaries of image-taking capabilities? Stick around as we dive into this detailed review to find out. Let's start with the design and display of this beauty. The Redmi Note 12 Pro may not be the slimmest or lightest, but its robust build quality makes up for it. 
Plus, with three stunning color variants, including the cool iceberg blue, this device is an absolute eye-catcher. The display is where this phone truly shines. With a 120Hz refresh rate, FHD resolution, and the ability to display 1.7 billion colors, it's a visual treat. And at 900 nits, this screen is super bright. All right, the camera, the star of the show. The 200MP sensor on the Redmi Note 12 Pro does not disappoint. Daylight photography is sharp, detailed, and boasts an excellent dynamic range. The only slight niggle is a cooler color temperature in certain conditions, but that's easy to overlook with the outstanding results. Now, the low light capabilities of the 200MP camera have divided opinions. With proper lighting, it's a winner without even needing the night mode. But, in certain scenarios, the AI-based night mode tends to go overboard, resulting in unrealistically bright images. Fine-tuning this aspect could truly make it a flagship-level contender. If you folks are interested in purchasing any of these phones, please see the links below. Full disclosure, Amazon does pay me a commission at no extra cost to you. Performance-wise, the Redmi Note 12 Pro rocks the MediaTek Dimensity 1080 SOC. It handles everything from gaming to social media with ease. Plus, with 5G support and a side-mounted fingerprint sensor, it's future-ready and snappy. Now, the battery on this device is a massive 5,000 mAh, easily lasting over a day. But here's the kicker, the 120-watt charging. It'll take you from 0 to 100 in less than 20 minutes. Unbelievable! One of the most discussed negatives of the Redmi Note 12 Pro its size and weight. This phone is undeniably robust, and while that means durability, it also translates to a heftier feel in your hand. Now, for some users, the solid build might be a plus, but for others who prefer lighter devices, this could be a deal breaker. If you have smaller hands or like a more compact phone, you might find the Redmi Note 12 Pro a bit challenging to handle. Don't get me wrong, the Redmi Note 12 Pro is a beast of a phone, but it's a bit bulky for my liking. I love the features, but I wish it was a tad lighter. Moving on to another aspect, software updates. Now, Xiaomi has come a long way with its MIUI skin, but there have been concerns about the timeliness of software updates on the Redmi Note 12 Pro. Ah, battery life, a crucial aspect for every smartphone user. While the Redmi Note 12 Pro packs a respectable 5,000 mAh battery and fast charging, some users have noticed that the battery life isn't as stellar during prolonged gaming sessions. If you're a heavy gamer or rely heavily on your phone throughout the day, battery performance during extended usage is something you might want to consider. I know there's been a lot of buzz around the Infinix Zero Ultra, but is it really worth the hype and the price tag? Let's find out. First things first, let's talk about that curved AMOLED panel. It's got a 120Hz refresh rate and a peak brightness of 1000 nights, perfect for outdoor usage. But here's the catch, it's a curved display, and that might not be everyone's cup of tea. Alright, let's talk power. The Infinix Zero Ultra is rocking the MediaTek Dimensity 920 processor, which is decent for day-to-day -day tasks. But, if you're a gamer, this might not be your best bet. And, hey, guess what? It's still running on Android 12. A little late to the party, Infinix. Ah, the cameras. Now, don't get fooled by the 200 MP hype. While it might sound impressive, real life usage paints a different picture. The 200 MP sensor might not be as great as you'd expect, and the OIS and videos could use some improvement. It's not a bad camera setup, but it's nothing groundbreaking either. Now, Here's a feature that caught our attention, the 180 watt fast charging. It's super fast, no doubt about that. But the 4,500 May battery might leave heavy users wanting more. On the bright side, you can charge this baby from zero to 50 in just four minutes. Impressive, right? Let's sum it up. The Infinix Zero Ultra does have its perks, a sleek design, 120 Hertz display, and that blazing fast 180W charging. But it's got its fair share of drawbacks too. The plastic back, average cameras, and software that's a bit behind the curve. So here's the verdict. If you're a casual user who loves a stunning display and fast charging, this might be a good fit for you.
But if you're a gamer or a camera enthusiast, you might want to explore other options in this price range. In Phoenix, we need a little more than just gimmicks. Plus, it's got a plastic back, which is a bit of a letdown for a phone in this price range. And there you have it, folks. Three ambitious smartphones with some hits and some misses. What are your thoughts on these devices? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tech content. Until next time, stay geeky and stay tuned.